Hey, buddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to, uh, uh, you know what? This is my own personal disaster. <laughs> That's what this game is. It's a, uh, it's a devastating monument to my own incompetence as a Civilization VI player. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to be real with you, because if, if I wasn't recording, I would just delete this save file and never let it darken my door again. Like, that's actually what I would do here. But I really need to get a government plaza, so I have to spend that. That, that, that was my last 75 gold. <laughs> so let me let me recap the situation that we're in. We spawned in a terrible location. Greece was five feet from us. Greece invaded us. And now we built infinite archers because it was like, well, I got nothing else to do. I got nothing left. I got nothing to lose, you know? So I was like, I made all the archers. And somehow we managed to steal both a settler and a city here. Now the city is flipping independent, but we are about to hit a golden age. So there's like a shadow of a chance of a, you know, a microcosm, a teeny tiny, well, hold on. Did I? Yeah, I need, I need to get a. I need to get a builder in here. I need to improve two fishing tiles. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I need to get at least one fishing tile at least to make this a workable tile. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and I, I. I also I need to repair the deer. This is a lot of things. A lot of things going on. So hear me out on the city of Rhodes. I just got a monument. A trader would be nice if I could get a trade route to Johannesburg that was like well protected and well secured. That would actually significantly improve my economy by. Like, you don't even understand how much that would improve my economy. I need that gold income so bad right now. Um, I need to take Eritrea before I take Athens. So I think that's the play, is we just shove units in that general direction and we just have a really, really good time uh, trying to make that work. <laughs> no, but I, let me tell you, uh, it's not working. Okay, 14 turns. We can, we can, we can, we can kind of make something happen if we have 14 turns before that city flips, especially because we have the potential golden age coming. Now, depending on if, if we can get maybe Twilight Valor or something like that, there's, there's kind of a, you know, there's an edge of a piece of a, of a painting here in this, in this illustrious game that we're playing. Now, let me tell you this. The second that we see a crossbowman or indeed a encampment. Oh, Idritria, wait a minute. The tables have turned? The turntables? What's happening? Why did that flip independent? We're in a golden age. We're in a, he's not in a golden age. We're exerting huge pressure. What's happening? Political philosophy? Is the game being turned around? So I feel like oligarchy would be like the play here. However, um, we don't we don't have any melee units. <laughs> but I think oligarchy is the play because it will allow us to equip all the right kind of cards. And um, Praetorian Guard is really good here. Would love monumentality. Just to buy an extra settler. How much would a settler cost me? Let me have it let me do the let me do the mental math on that one. So a settler would cost me like 160 fate. We could actually do that pretty soon. Okay, okay. Um, Praetorian Guard might be the play. I would love Exodus the Evangelist, but all the religious guys are gone. Because like, if you can, if you can get a religion without much investment, it is like super worth it. Praetorian Guard gives my military like serious staying power alongside conscription. Plus, like if I could get Limitania in, wait, do I even need Limitania? That's a great question. Like, is that city even flipping anymore? It's not. So like, the future is secure and it belongs to me. Now he does have swordsmen. Which is, you know, like a little bit scary. At the very least, it's a little bit scary. But if we can make Eritrea happen, trust me, fetch isn't going to happen. But Eritrea, that might happen. So conscription, urban planning definitely feels like in the right vibe of a direction of the kind of way we want to go about things. But Praetorian Guard for the healing and the extra production. And then for now, I guess we plug in a GOG just in case we're going to build any military units. Like we, 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 we actually... We do have the chance to go for swordsman here. So it could be a scrappy kind of a game that we're we're working our way towards. Unfortunately, we have like literally no envoys. That's actually been a bit of a thorn in our side. Ooh, if I win this, this is huge. I wish I'd bought I forgot to buy Diplo Favor from the AI. I use that exploit so rarely that uh, I forget to do it all the time. But I'm just I'm fingers crossed I win this. If I don't win it, oh unlucky. I did get the border control treaty, which is nice. Uh, let's get the barracks because that represents a significant production boost built here. Go there. You're a little bit hurt. It's flipping to Greece of all people. That was actually not the answer to the quiz that I was expecting. But at the very least, I'll be able to do damage to this when he can't garrison units in it. So while that sounds like not great, it actually kind of works out okay for me, especially because we've completely trimmed down his military and we've managed to steal. No, no military emergencies. God, why? Who, who voted for this? Movemba and Pericles. This is actually, okay, remember what I said at the start of this? I was like, oh, actually, things are kind of going okay for me. We're dead. <laughs> we're dead. We're dead. We're, he, we're dead. We're just, we're actually dead. We're like, we're just, we're, we're dead. Look, we had a good run. Things went kind of okay for us. And now we're dead. Because there's literally, I, I can't defend against, if Congo sends like a swordsman to me, 
I just, I'm dead. I lose. A swordsman, not plural, like a swordsman. One swordsman ends my game here. But I tell you what, I have probably some of the finest military units in the game because they're extremely leveled. Yeah, I guess I guess we take Kabul. Because Le- leveling up units, that's got to be my only way to maintain Golden Age. I mean, at this point, I'm all in on war. Like, I just, I just no way around it. I also, I really need to get catapults, which makes me wish I had built stables. But I mean, I've already started on the barracks. So that's like, listen, we're making mistakes. That's part of the, that's part of playing video games. You're going to make errors. You're going to screw up. That's life. Okay, the city of Bursa is under threat by a uh, Johannesburg warrior. That's actually not the worst thing. So we've got six turns to get something out of this city. We can we can make that happen. He's in a dark age. I'm not in a dark age. There is the catapult pressure is annoying. The courser, are you f- fucking kidding me? I don't even know what to do about a courser on my borders. I'm just. I'm going to say it as it is. I don't know what to do about that. Because it's just going to it's just gonna nearly kill everything it touches. Okay, at the very least, we got rid of that catapult. Okay, the Corsair died. That was actually a little bit easier than I thought it would. <laughs> I thought I was just straight up done. We can kill the encampment, which gets us a step closer. The city of Eritrea is suffering, but not from success, as, uh, as would be implied by the, the phrasing of that sentence. Bursa is just suffering, right? We got a flood. Nice. Perfect. This, is, this bodes really well for our government plaza, by the way. The flooding here. Really, <laughs> really good vibes. Um, also, the fact that I built this to make gold and now the only viable trading location is there. So we've got issues. We've got problems. I'm going to go ahead and place the harbor in here. We're not going to build the harbor. I think, uh, I think things are okay right now. Let's blast the city. Full sender, give her a full send bud, and then we capture it. Right, Eritrea is ours. Eritrea, Eritrea, I, I, whatever, however you say that. It belongs to me now. And now I really need to be pillaging things that like generate gold. So like this right here, this needs to be pillaged because my gold income is how I stay in this game. It's turn 97 and I got Congo. <laughs> Congo with 112 science declaring war in me. Oh, you know, this is just Civ. This is just Civ, dude. This is just Civ. If I crack out another cute couple of cities real quick, what if I just, what if I just quickly cracked out two cute cities, just a couple of cute cities to occupy the tundra, get a couple extra districts up? You know, that's not a crime. Oh, right, I forgot. Uh, he had a galley nearby and galleys obliterate cities. That's okay. Is he going to raise his own city? I really hope he doesn't. Oh, go, come on, man. What, I just built this government. He's going to kill my government plaza. This city's got an issue. And the issue is that there's nothing defending it. I mean, what can I do? I don't have I don't have units to spare here. I'm being picked apart from all sides. Am I actually going to lose a city to a city state? I refuse to accept this. I just, uh, we're in bad shape. We got nothing nearby. I, this was a two, right? What, what the hell? Oh, right. Am I also in apocalypse mode? No. Then how did this volcano- wait a minute! How did it hit two range? It's not supposed to be able to hit two range. Volcano is supposed to have a blast zone of one range. I don't know what to tell you here, but this city is so impossibly dead. The city of Bursa, like I've never seen a more dead city in my life. It's got a catapult, a swordsman, a two swordsmen and a warrior on the way. I can't even really come up with an example of a city that could be more dead than that. Yeah, I don't- I don't think it is possible. I think it's actually outside of human capabilities. Yeah, I actually- <laughs> I've never seen a dead a city so dead in my life. The city is so dead. Oh, it's all coming apart. And not even slowly, like it's it's coming apart quick. Crumbling, it's more like a, a world has opened up and swallowed up my empire, man. Yep, Bursa got deleted. My capital's next, by the way. Just in case you were wondering what the situation was. I, I, a comedy of errors, I think is the correct term for this game right now. A tragedy of errors or a comedy? I don't remember. Just errors. Just it's just it's just all errors. It all went wrong. Where where can I get crossbowmen? I think maybe crossbowmen gets me out of this bind. So where where are they? Right, they're here. Head for machinery. We pick up machinery. Maybe we get some crossbowmen. Maybe that gets me out of this situation. We can start hitting Athens next turn. Um, we can start pushing archers around. That is a Congo courser. Um, remember, I have no defense against this unit, and it's going for my trade route. The trade route that took me ten turns to build. I, why did I bother? Why 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 did I bother? I should I should have just made units non-stop for the last 40 to 30 turns. I should why did why did I bother trying to look at me? Oh, sorry, I've been at war for 50 turns. I wanted to build one thing. I just I just wanted one thing that uh, you know, but apparently the game just won't let me have one thing. But it took me four turns to get out that little oh, the trebuchet. See, now we can't actually do anything. Cause look how little look 
Do you got a magnifying glass to see how much damage this is actually doing to the city? Um, I need catapults. Well, at the very least, this courser took a ton of damage there. By the way, that 15% science and culture are really helping me out. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's, I'm just, I'm an archer guy. No, 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 no. Yeah, from, from this city... No, from this city, I'm, an, I'm a catapult guy. At the very least, my empire is like incredibly hard to invade because of the just sheer number of archers I have. By the way, that was my government plaza city that got raised. Just in case, in case people weren't aware of how grim and terrible this game is right now. That was my, my city that builds the district that you can only build once in your empire. And it got raised by like a swordsman. And of course, of course, there's a warrior here blocking the way, of course. Just because why, why wouldn't there be? Why wouldn't there be a warrior there? Just why wouldn't there? Why wouldn't a warrior be there to be in my way? You know? Oh, the flood came in clutch though and completely obliterated this army. You know what? For once, floods did a good thing. Flooding, not so bad. Ayuthia, I swear to God, Ayuthia, you're really kill- What are your units even doing over here? Why are your units here? Why are you here? You're gonna make me declare war on you and get grievances with everyone on the map. <sighs> okay, fine, fine, fine. This is, you wanna play weird ball. I'm the weird ball champion, okay? That sounds very different to <laughs> what it was meant to sound like. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't have scouted inside of Uthia's borders. Uh, that, that'll teach me to declare war in city-states. Oh, they're going to let me get away with it. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh, by the way, this is when we were supposed to be building the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Eh, that's never happening. Just in case some of you guys were getting your hopes, it was like, oh, Potato, he's going to get the mausoleum. Mm -mm. Nope, that is a pipe dream at this current board state. Very, very, very much so a pipe dream. Now, it's not an impossible pipe dream. It's kind of like a pipe dream, but actually, I know a guy who has pipes. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's got a few spares, so you, you'd never... Look, it probably won't happen, but there is the guy. I know the guy with the pipes. I know a guy is such like a... Like a I was born mid... 20th century thing to say like oh yeah I know a guy who can help you out with that <laughs> like I just feel it's like oh yeah yeah I, I know a plumber I know a, I know a this I know a that oh I went to school with a XYZ guy let me let me give you his number I feel like that is such a like mid mid 20th century boomer like if you were born in that era you've said that sentence a there's a hundred percent chance you said that sentence to not today but within like the last week you can't tell me I'm wrong because I know I'm right and I feel like the closer you get to that to that era in birth, the more the more often you say it. Like, I'm pretty far away from it. And I say that maybe, you know, a couple times a year. Which I think is like a reasonable amount of times to say that phrase at my demographic, you know. Born in the 90s, grew up with Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I know a guy. Like, that, that feels, you know, pretty reasonable to me. Now, whether or not it is reasonable, that's an entirely different discussion. But if I can get this catapult into Eritrea, then we have a chance to take out this. So, at this point, this isn't a game of Civ. This is Potato McWhiskey microwing units and talking, <laughs> talking absolute bollocks for however long I record today. That's, that's what today is. It's a couple days before the new year. I don't know when you're going to get these videos, but when you get the videos, let me tell you, I'm going to be uh, extremely disappointed. Not in you, but like in how this game turned out. Because <laughs> it's grim, man. You try to load up a fun game of Civ 6 and what do you get? You get your head kicked in for a few hours and then you're like, well, why did I bother? You know, why did I bother? But, you know, I guess it's for the it's for the entertainment value. I, I know that, right? It's a bit. Oh, we're we taking a little damage. Ooh, we take it. We take with a little counterattack. We're fine, though. We're fine. In fact, we're better than fine. We're great. Back up. Back forward, back forward. A free builder? Question mark. All right, I kind of don't get it, but thank you. Uh, the wind is destroying my house. Hold on, let me close the window. It's called a window. Does anyone know the etym the etym etymology? Etymology? I the ottomanology? I I don't know how to say it. The explanation for why the word is the way that it is is the thing that I'm trying to say. Does anyone know where the the word window comes from? Like, is it wind? Ow! Ow! Oh, it's the wind. Or like, what is a window? Why why is it wind? You know. These are the questions that uh, distract me from my terrible fate in Civ games, which I think is currently a little grim, but also not entirely lost. I think this might actually be my greatest, my greatest work ever if I manage to recover from this game state, <laughs> because it's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really, uh, it's grim, dude. But look, 
what if I what if I just sacrificed a fresh archer to get a pillage? Like that's not insane. I think that's kind of actually based. It's not a good play, but it is a play that we can make happen. You need everything. <laughs> You need everything. Uh, oh my god. Get this up. I'm just hoping that I can maybe just fight my way out of my problems. Which is honestly, it feels like the beginning of a movie. He can fight his way out of anything. Where are trebuchets? I don't even, I don't even know. Like, this dude has trebuchets and I haven't even found him on the tech tree. We're done. We're actually done. And not just on Twitch either. Okay, we get the pillage off, 135 gold. That's potentially a crossbowman or two. We're blasted this. You get a level. And let me level with you. We can maybe do something to this city next turn. Because I, I got to just get damage on it. And so if I send these catapults in, you know, full, full broadside, full tilt, maybe we can make that work. I don't have a choice. All right, catapult in, catapult in. So I got two catapults charging down the slopes, which is such a strange... <laughs> Strange thing to say. I charged him with catapults, dude. I mean, what else am I supposed to do here? I don't know. I think this is like my only option is to charge him with catapults and hope that just, you know, eventually I throw so many catapults at him that he can't actually stop me. Now, if we could break the walls of this district, it would make my life a lot easier. So I think I'm going to prioritize killing the encampment. I know that sounds like super crazy, but if I, if, I, if I just reduce the total amount of damage we're taking with Praetorian Guard, we might be able to make something happen. We only have access to Praetorian Guard for another turn or two. So I think it's all in. Archers too. Like this is the all in moment where we just, we throw everything out of cities. Because if we can take Athens and we can take Pharsalos, we have... I like enough science to make something happen this game. We have enough cities to make something happen this game. And we need the archers to tank for the for the catapults. <laughs> this, is, this is definitely not going to go my way. But I would like to generate less grievances. I don't really care what religion wins. I don't think that's particularly relevant to the particular kind of game that I'm playing right now. Uh, I didn't get voted the extra grievances, which is fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. All right, nice. We actually stole an extra builder here, which that's 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 free value. I'll I'll take free value anytime I can get it. I'll take it. Dare I say that potentially uh, another way to get back into this game is the Barbary Corsair. Maybe there is some coastal stuff, some coastal raiding that we can do. It's unlikely, but it could happen. It could be part of the game. It could be part of the plan. Let's take crew weapons. We definitely want to level up our units where we can. Right, nice. We lost a catapult, but it was a catapult that we were okay with losing. Right, um, machinery. <laughs> this is the kill. Remember, <laughs> remember, like 80 turns ago when we had such a hopeful outlook on this game. <laughs> and like these things were like, yeah, we'll build that when we get time. We're never getting time. Just, it's never happening. What, the city of Athens is starting to crumble? Dare I say... There is a shadow of a sliver of hope in this game yet. It may only be a shadow of a sliver, but the, the sliver is there. Um, one thing I definitely need to do is to pay money, to take monumentality, and then like get a couple extra settlers out. If I can get a settler and a builder out from that, I think that's good value. Any more luxuries for me to buy? Yes, I'll buy more luxuries. I could sell a luxury as well. Okay, we're losing units, but that's kind of the plan. Oh, I... Listen, I'm going to reload that. <laughs> Listen, this game is grim enough to where that, that kind of a mistake, that's actually the difference between me having a potentially fun game here and me just watching myself lose for 400 turns. So I had meant to attack with a catapult before I attacked the encampment. I was just, on the turn rollover, my brain was like, oh, the, the encampment is obviously still on zero health. So I immediately attacked my warrior. You know, look, these, these are the teething problems. That happens sometimes. Uh, dare I mention that we also managed to just barely squeak away with a golden age. Also, if we ever get another dark age beyond this point, we actually <laughs> were in potentially the worst situation imaginable. Um, okay, so we killed the encampment. That's one less thing shooting at us in this area. Three catapults haranguing the city, obliterating it. We got ourselves a settler. Let's buy a builder not with gold that's just the dumbest thing i've done all week so far <laughs> so it's the dumbest thing i've done all week so far <laughs> we can push up a little bit oh my god i can't believe it we're, we're shredding the city the city's getting shredded it's happening guys we definitely want a commercial hub in here no we need science and culture Nah, who needs science and culture what we need is this raw production we need to make more units more units more units. We just, we, we chose violence today. 
and I'm here for it. You don't even really have good tiles to improve. That's kind of what sickens me about this city is that its tiles are terrible. All right, the city is on its last legs, like a centipede that's been stepped on. I got another chunk of marble online that's good. Luxuries are looking okay. He's got bombards. What the f dude? What am I supposed to do against bombards? I don't even have the trebuchet, the humble rock throwing trebuchet. <laughs> and yet somehow I'm winning. I should not be winning. I should like if the universe was fair and uh, you know equitable i wouldn't be winning this war but I, but i am winning this war so that's the kind of situation that we finds our, finds ourselves in i don't really know what to do with you as a city like eritrea you're kind of in an awkward place i mean i'm just building catapults and throwing them at people and praying that it's a perfectly reasonable thing to do major defeat Please kill. Oh, very nice. Knowledge and knowledge military emergency. The guy kills the city with one health left. We keep the city. Now we got to move on Pharsalos. But our science and culture is looking like a little bit better. It's looking a little bit more robust. I don't know how we're going to kill Congo, especially because it's, it's always my... It's never my first neighbor is like the super OP Civ. It's always like my second neighbor. Why couldn't I be next to Georgia? Or like Scythia. These are these are these are civs I can kill. How do I kill a what 160 science Congo that's probably gonna have infantry by the time I can walk my catapults or my trebuchets over there? It's insanity. I feel like I don't know. I'm like people who watch my videos, is this an actual trend or am I am I just am I loopy? I feel like this is an actual trend. That every game I play, it's not it's like I feel like I watch other people play domination games or games where they're forced into early war. And they're like, oh, you were next to, like, Korea, and Korea had no units. Good job, you win. You just, you won the game from that moment. Me, I spawn next to, like, a unit with an Ancient Era combat bonus, with an Ancient Era military unit, and then the next enemy I got, he's, by the time I kill the first guy, he's got, like, 5,000 signs, and he's already building giant death robots. That's how it feels when I play Civ. Now, can I tell you something? We're going to get rid of the catapults, we're going to place the harbor, we need the harbor, we need the gold, we need the signs, we need the food, we need the growth, we need everything. The city of Derne, a, a good little harbor here would be nice. It'll take a very long time to build. So instead, we're going to get the granary because this city is never going to come online, really. I mean, it, technically it will come online, but it's never really going to come online. Do you know what I mean? We do have a couple like Kabul and Preslav. I would love to get Johannesburg. I'm going to put a point to the Kagwana because that plus one si that plus one culture per turn, believe it or not, actually makes a difference to our game here. So I don't want to stop building military units completely, but I definitely want to stop off for some more military units or like for some non-military things like production. Another emergency vote, for God's sake, the very small amount of diplomatic favor that I had was just like ripped from my hands. All right, let's get these catapults into position. They're coming. What if I did something insane and instead of fighting Congo head to head, I went and fought everyone else first. And I, I just come down here. I storm down to the south. I drop a couple of cities in this border area, like on the iron and here to get a little bit of loyalty. I just, I do a settling wave and then I invade. I invade down here. I take out Georgia. I head down to Canada or even potentially west. Because let me tell you, I don't think I can do... I don't think I can take on Congo. I think he's going to have tanks very soon. And that's a wrap. Like that, that just is a wrap when that happens. Golden Age feels good. Let's take out Monumentality. Um, plug in Praetorian Guard again because I really like the extra production from that. That was very helpful actually, the extra production. You're going to go ahead and take the Crew Weapons promotion. This time we're going to concentrate our fire on the actual city of Pharsalos. And you need to upgrade to a swordsman to be ready to go capture that. So yeah, we need like a wave of settlers. I need to get this harbor up. Let me think about how many set cities I'm settling. I'm settling this one for sure. I'm settling this one for sure. I'm probably settling like one or two around here, but we'll have to kind of explore that. Archer, go explore for me. My, oh my, oh my. Look, things are looking a little bit rough, but I mean, we're not dead. And you should be thankful <laughs> that I'm not dead, to be honest with you. Um, because it's a very close run thing that I'm not. All right, let's hammer the city of Pharsalos. Boom, boom, boom. That swordsman needs to heal up a little bit. That's fine. If I can capture this trader and pillage him, that would be really useful for the gold. Um, we're building settlers. We need more, more of those things. The payoff horizon for some of these things is really far. God, I would love to be building a Barbary Corsair. The problem is there's not a whole lot here for me to kill. I mean, I guess there's a lumber mill. So I think we do go harbor into Barb. Do I get the lighthouse? No, I think we get the we get a couple of Barbary Corsairs out. They're our unique unit and the potential value from them is really high. Now, potentially we get almost nothing from them as well. Like the potential va value is somewhere between nothing and a lot. Now we know we have at least a little bit of guaranteed value here, right? In the form of a 
single lumber mill pillage. Um, but long term, maybe they'll pay off. So sometimes you have to gamble. I think that's an important part of being like a, like an actual, like, re- this is the hot, like real world hot take here. Sometimes you have to gamble. Sometimes you have to be willing to tolerate risks that potentially give you no reward. That is just something you you have to be willing to um, to have egg on your face. You know what I mean? Nobody wants an eggy face, but you have to risk having an eggy face so that you can have a face unegged in the future. Does that make sense? So I don't know where the city Aquila came from. I don't know who settled Aquila. Like, why? This, this kind of screws with this plan, which is fine. So you got your granary, you got your stuff. We should get the encampment and get the barracks repaired. Don't think we need to produce units right now. So if we can get these things repaired, we put the city in better shape. I definitely want to pillage this tile. I also want to pillage this tile if I can. So we'll look into what we can do on those fronts. We do get the pillage on that trade route. 50 gold, not an amazing amount of gold, but it was free gold. Cost me very little. All right, let's advance. Let's get the pillage and we'll blow this city up next turn. The apprenticeship is actually huge. The research here, plus one production from our mines. We do have a decent amount of mines in our empire. So that's going to help us out quite a bit. It also means any future mines that we build to have even more value. Do we want to go for stirrups? We have like no pastures. Like literally no pastures. We have no horses either. It's grim, but I think we could go for knights. I'd like to get nine chariots out. So next turn, I'll do a little bit of chopping and changing. I'll let these guys finish what they're building. The stable especially, because that'll actually let me to get them a little bit faster. Um, but I definitely need to get retinues. I also need to get raid. Ooh, could, I can't get raid in a reasonable amount of time because I'm going to be pillaging next turn. But in the future, we're going to have to like live on raid. Oh, oops. Wait, I'm not at war with Johannesburg. Okay, that's actually great news. Good scouting info. More intel. A builder was spawned in the city. That's huge. Catastrophic eruption. Good news. Mercenaries. So what we're going to do... Well, we're going to hold on a second, right? You're going to pillage. You're going to shoot the city. You're going to shoot the city. You're going to shoot the city. So the city can't shoot back anymore. And we're in position now, potentially, to take Farsalos. Not next turn, but the turn after, I believe. So let's look at the state of the board. I would love to get feudalism. A couple of well-trained builders here could make a big difference to my empire. So the plus two builder cards would be nice. Um, you're at four pop. So I'm going to go ahead and place your campus. We're not going to build it yet because we're still trying to like build this city up to be completely useful. Um, and in order to do that, we definitely need a builder. But I'll wait six turns... How long would it take you to build a builder? Seven turns? It's actually perfectly lining up with what we need to do. We have an envoy. Uh, forever going to be friends, not suzerain of these city-states. Unless I start working on Kabul seriously from this point on. And honestly, double experience could be really, really good for this game mode. So perhaps I will go all in on Kabul. The double experience would be really useful because every time a unit levels up in this game mode, you get plus one error score, um, which could be really handy. Now, we're going to be running into a bit of a problem. There's going to be some Dark Ages happening. Other people are Dark Aging, at the least. Congo did lose a city. The problem is that the city loss rate for the AI in this game mode is 10%. For players, it's 60%. Just because if you needed a little bit of a reality a reality check there, um, it's a bit grim. Now, we do have time. Do you know what? What if I just invaded Congo? Oh, he has line infantry. Yeah. No, 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 no. We might, we might not invade. We might play the late game. So this pike and shot spawning is bad. Can I get this city's health down enough? No, I can't. I'm going to have to slowly chip away at it. I would love to have Barbary Corsairs here assisting. We have a Barbary Corsair coming in the capital. We don't have the double boat construction speed because it's not an ancient era or classical era unit. One of the most important things for us to do here is to actually preserve our units. These are highly experienced units. Uh, and more importantly, we're not building any more at the moment so we have to we have no reinforcements because we're in a construction phase so we're just going to play things a little bit safer than usual i might be able to bait him forward here military engineering it would be good to find niter if we could find niter we could go ahead and sell that to the ai now granted i don't don't think there would be many people willing to buy off of us um, but that's not particularly important okay so we did manage to bait him forward we settle here and then we can get a triple shot on that pike and shot who will level but that's not important because we can rush some catapults back into the front line. There's feudalism. Perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of time here to plug in serfdom and just get a f just like two to three builders. We're also going to plug in the maneuver card so we can speed up the rate at which we're producing chariots. All right. So we need to kill this pike and shot. Can we get the kill? Perfect. Now we need to get Farsalos' health down. It's happening slowly but surely. So next turn we might be able to kill the city. Maybe the turn after. So slightly delayed... Um, let's pick up these envoys. We want to be suzerain of Kabul for the faster unit leveling. That's actually really important to our game plan. No peace with you. I know you have a ton of gold, but the most important thing is that I actually kill you quickly. Nice. So there's construction, games and recreation, blast the city, blast the city, kill the city. Amazing. So 
Greece is dead. It took us two episodes and we burnt our empire to the ground. But at the very least, we're on par with like Scythia and Canada. We might not be on par with Congo, but we're looking like we have a chance now. Now, there's two, essentially two directions we can go with this game from here. We can take this newly acquired empire and try to power for the late game and then use our superior experience as a player to fight late game wars with like artillery with aircraft all that stuff and we'll eventually grind down the world alternatively we can go on the war path and continue to push once we get to bombards personally i think we might hunker down here we've had an action-packed game and i would like to take a moment to actually build some stuff but i think it would be more interesting i don't know i'm, I'm gonna make that decision in between episodes but that's gonna be it for this one i love you all very much and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye